darkest religions of the least of these nations. The Egyptians, the Syrians, King Herod, uh... To revert to the Jews, I wonder, is it because, as you say, they identify future with past that they have so many prophets? Oh, the prophets, it's the sun which breeds them. <laughs> <laughs> many of these are harmless. They preach religion. We, we let them go. But some of them preach rebellion because it is written. Altogether, literacy has had a disastrous effect in this country. And those we eliminate... Rome has taught us that although this may be indifferent theology, it is very good government. <laughs> <laughs> Majesty, I've heard the word Messiah. What exactly is a Messiah? Oh, even you have heard that awful word, Proclus. Is he a prophet or is he something even... Well, Rome, even Rome, cannot influence men's dreams. And the Messiah is a bad dream, disguised as a solution to every problem. It's a leveler of scores, a rewarder of righteousness, a scourge for the wrongdoer. It is uh, the bringer of everlasting peace. <laughs> that is, I understand it, from what you have said, a Messiah is worse than a prophet uh, from the Roman point of view. Oh, from the Jewish viewpoint, too. Only you try telling that to the Jews. No, don't, don't. It's much wiser not to consult them just when a messiah appears, crush it underfoot like a young scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> now you can tell great Augustus that he can rest in peace in Rome. There will be no messiahs, true or false, in Palestine while I am alive. Not be afraid. Yes, he oh. is. May this betrothal one to the other, Joseph, Mary, be blessed and sanctified according to the law of Moses and of Israel. Amen.
you? Who are you? How can that be? No man has ever touched me. Mary, who are you talking to? This news of Elizabeth. My cousin, Elizabeth? What news? She's going to have a son in three months' time. She conceived the child six months ago. On the 19th day of Tishri. But Elizabeth was always barren. Now she's far too old. What nonsense is this child? Oh, but it's true. She's going to have a son. And I must go and visit her. God bless you, child. Mary. So it is true. How did you know? Who told you? A messenger from God. And he told me another thing. A thing even more wonderful. You're blessed among women, and blessed shall be the fruit of your womb. I too am highly favored. At 
the mother of the Chosen should come to me. From the moment your greeting reached my ears. The child in my womb leapt for joy. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he has looked kindly upon the most humble of his handmaidens, and he has told me that all generations shall call me blessed. He who is mighty has done unto me a mighty thing. Is it true about Mary's dream? Oh, yes, it's true. News came from Aunt Karim. Elizabeth is going to have a child. Even though she's past the age? Oh, yes, Elizabeth and she must be nearly 50. Zacharias. Yes, that's the one. She's Mary's cousin. It can't be true. Well, Joseph, are we going to get an invitation to your wedding? <laughs> Plenty of time for that, Jotham. The contract's only just been signed. Only just betrothed and his beloved's left him already. Just like her, she's always been a bit strange, not like the others. That's something you'll have to learn to live with. Uh, but seriously, Joseph, Mary is remarkable. We all think so. A remarkable girl. Blessed be thou, our Lord, King of the universe, who has blessed us with your commandments and ordained us to initiate our sons in the covenant of our father Abraham. Amen. As this child enters the covenant, so may he enter into the study of the Torah, into marriage, and into good deeds. Amen. Amen. This is the seal in flesh of the covenant between the Lord and his people. What is the name of the child? His name is... His name shall be John. When you get back to Nazareth, tell Joseph what you have seen and heard, what you know. The Lord God gives life where no life is possible. And one life shall be the Son of God, and the other shall be his prophet. Go, tell all this to Joseph. <coughs> He believe me. God will open his heart. It is written in the law, if in the time of betrothal a woman sins with any other man, let them both be taken beyond the gates of the town and stoned to death. For the abomination may be crushed out of the heart of Israel. Should a man marry a woman and she find no favor in his eyes, because she has found in her the stain of uncleanliness, let him write a bill of repudiation and deliver it into her hands. This law applies even if I haven't taken Mary into my house? Yes. Yes, all that is needed is for a bill to be written and delivered in the presence of two witnesses. No. If I do that, I will expose her shame.
I'll send her away if I must. But in secret. God knoweth the secret of the heart. Trust in him and accept. Accept it, Joseph. The Lord will not abandon you. Thank you. Joseph, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. It is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will bear a son, and you shall give him the name Jesus, the Savior. With this ring. With this ring. Be thou consecrated unto me. Be thou consecrated unto me. According to the law of Moses and of Israel. According to the law of Moses and of Israel. May the Lord bless and preserve you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Census. It's a trick to increase the taxes. And we all know where the money ends up. In the Rome. But why should it? What does Rome give us? That's not the point. The Romans want to count us. How many we are. Where we are. They want us to know that they are our rulers. But we should have no earthly ruler. No rule but the Lord. No king but God. It's not for you to remind us of the scriptures. Be quiet and go home. I apologize for my son. He's too young to understand. What are you doing to the faith of our fathers? All over Galilee, there are thousands of Jews preparing for, for what you're always talking about in there, the coming of the king who will liberate us. Come. But what are you doing about it? Nothing. We accept the violence of the Romans like sheep. With me. We are not worthy of the Stop king to that. come. The king to come will not bring violence and bloodshed. Huh? It is written. He himself is pure from sin. God shall cause him to be mighty through the spirit of holiness and wise through the counsel of understanding. Now come home. 
Stay there till you learn more respect for your elders. So even Augustus obeys God. Uh, uh, the prophecy? Yes, the prophecy. For thou, O Bethlehem, art in no wise the least of cities. For from thee shall come forth a shepherd of my people, Israel. If only... I could come with you. If only... I... Joseph... You need help... when he's born. Don't be troubled, Anna. He would be well cared for. Everything will be done as God ordered.
They seem to be kings, Lord Melchior, from different lands. I told you we could not have been the only ones to see the sign. I'm sure that Herod keeps a strict watch on his frontiers. He must know that we have crossed them. I would have to tell him, as Balthazar has said, that I follow that star wherever it leads. But what will we find? All my calculations show that there was to be a new heavenly creature, a new star. It was even precise as to place and time. So I made up my mind to set forth and seek what they would unfold. You did not know? Only that it would be something wonderful. The stars are not distant and aloof, cut off from the lives of men. The rising of a new star entails an immense labor in the heavens that always has its counterpart on Earth. The universe is about to bring forth a prodigy beyond our understanding. Your star, my brother, Balthazar, is indeed a sign of wonder. The divine Zoroaster says, the next prophet will show himself in a foreign land. And the truth he will reveal will be at first only for his own people. But there is only one truth. And only one God. All the rest are vain or parts of him. The people of Israel know this. Many of their wise men have been close to him. And their writings Confirm my calculations. A king is about to be born. Thought I heard a baby crying. Born in a stable. Oh, a beautiful child. Come and put him there in the manger and see if there's some fresh straw that'll keep him warm. 
I'll take care of her, poor girl. Now well, then, have you some water? Give it to me. Come, that's it. You want this is no place for you get out get out do you hear me off off with you can't you see poor girl just had a child that's why we've come we were told to told by who we were out there in the fields this man came to us from nowhere an angel shepherds he said they say that Israel is a scattered flock that lacks a shepherd. And then he said, tonight the shepherd is born. It is for you that he comes, he said, for the poor. That's why you came here? Yes, the man said. He said. The man said, today in the city of David, a savior has been born for you. Glory to God in the highest, he said, and peace on earth for those whom he loves. Come. Cross my border, yet not one of them sends a greeting. Are they armed? Not heavily, Your Majesty. Our spies say they're equipped to travel fast and far. But they were not heading here. If not here, where? It was Bethlehem, Your Majesty. They, they, they followed a star, the new star. Bethlehem? O oh, thou Bethlehem Ephrata, Thou art the smallest... What was that phrase again? Thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, art a little one amongst the thousands of Judah. Out of thee he shall come forth unto me, who is to be the ruler in Israel. And his going forth is from the beginning, from the days of eternity. A ruler in Israel? Have those travelers watched all the time? And bring me the names of all newborn children in Bethlehem.
don't be afraid. Where is the child? We have come a long way to greet him. This is the king of Israel, who will take away the sins of the world. I did not know what we were to find. And coming here, a stable. I thought my brothers were mistaken. But now I see the justice of it. There could be no other place. Hmm. Not in glory but in humility. Accept these poor tokens of our homage. Incense to perfume the halls of the mighty. Gold for kingly rule. Myrrh, the most precious herb of the East and the most bitter. Now, a word of warning. Leave here as soon as you can. Herod's soldiers have followed us, hoping we'll lead them to you. He knows of this birth. He'll seek out a child to kill him. Go into Egypt. It may not be for long. Herod's days are numbered. Those travelers crossed my frontier again. Yes, your majesty. Yes, your majesty. But the child must still be here. Kill every male child up to one year old. Two years old. Better the innocent should die than that the guilty should escape. Guilty? Your Majesty, a child? Guilty in the womb! Guilty in the stars! I'll bring down their stars! I'll snuff them out in blood! This is my world! I will not share it with an infant. There's no room for two kings here. Like a newborn scorpion. And a foot. You know the mark of a real king? Courage. Even in the face of Jewish prophecy. Bits of old parchment. Old blind men. Ha! Now go to Bethlehem. And make history. Kill. But your majesty. Kill. Kill them all! Kill! Kill them all!
taken in the midst of his sins, struck down by the Lord to whom the power and pride of kings are as nothing. You cannot defy God, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Yet the yoke of tyranny will not be lifted from us. Rome will choose a king from among his sons and her grip will become stronger. But you should lift up your hearts for the Eternal will not abandon us. He will send us a deliverer. And his dominion is the everlasting dominion that shall not pass away. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. You see? Nazareth. That's where we live. Hear, O Israel. The Eternal our God, the Eternal is one. Blessed be the name of the glory of the kingdom forever and ever. And thou shalt love the Eternal thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee shall be in thine heart. Amen. Amen. Barfu et Adonai ham vorach. Baruch et Adonai. Bless God, who has given us the Torah. The Lord God will go before you. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid, for the Lord thy God will go with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Amen. Oh, you're truly a man. <laughs> Jesus Bar Joseph, as a new adult member of our community, you have exercised your right to read and comment upon the scriptures. That is your heritage. It is the heritage of the children of Israel. But. Remember that God's word is spoken in times of light and in times of darkness and persecution. May you always read from the law in a time of joy. Amen. <laughs> May God protect you. May God bring blessings on the board.